Hello, I'm Jay Nickel from Nickel Investigations, and I'm here to tell you about some of the upcoming episodes of Ontario Cold Cases, the podcast. The mysterious after-school disappearance of eight-year-old Judy Carter on February 25th, 1955, would lead to a search dubbed the greatest ever carried out in Toronto by police of the day. Little Judy would be missing for 10 days when a search party of 500 people, firefighters, off-duty and on-duty police officers, Boy Scouts and members of the public, including the principal of Judy School, scoured a 38-kilometer area of Toronto from Cherry Breach North to Leaside and Broadview Avenue West to Young Street. They found no trace of the young Cabbage Town resident. A month later, on April 9th, 27 kilometers away, two boys looking for a fishing spot along the banks of the Rouge River in Unionville, now Markham, found a little girl's body. Star Police reporter Gwyn Jocko Thomas quoted the detective's theory that Judy had been strangled in an abductor's car and her body tossed over a culvert bridge into the river, where it floated a considerable distance downstream before lodging on a creek bed. She was dead before she was thrown in the water, Chief Coroner Smurl Lawson said after an autopsy. Judy had been strangled with her own white woolen scarf. The scarf cut cruelly into her flesh, Lawson said. There were no other marks on her body. Was a little girl's murder connected to the murders of other little girls around that time? Was there a serial killer operating in Toronto in the 1950s? Please consider subscribing to Ontario Cold Cases, the podcast, on Patreon, Spotify, YouTube, or Apple Podcasts.